I'm Matt Shoemaker. Welcome to Tech Forum. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog on Tech Forum. Today we're going to discuss use and care of lithium batteries. Now, this is just a very brief overview. It is in no way an exhaustive discussion of the finer points of various chemistries. But I wanted to give you guys a, a basic understanding of lithium batteries. Uh, this will give those that are unfamiliar with EVs and battery longevity a little bit more um, knowledge in their arsenal to work with. But it's also something that applies to other devices as well. Cell phones, tablets, radio control cars and airplanes, anything with a lithium battery you can pretty much apply this to. And there are so many different chemistries, uh, lithium manganese and lithium cobalt and all these different chemistries, but they all boil down, or the majority of them anyway, boil down to the fact that lithium is a component of those batteries. Actually a small component, but it is a component in those batteries. And I wanted to discuss today the use and care of them and how to get the most out of your batteries. So here on the screen we've got our uh, diagram of the Model 3 and the battery under the floor. You'll notice that I've got uh, the battery limit set at roughly 80%. If I set this here, you'll notice that Tesla has listed daily, set any level for your daily driving needs, trip. Useful for a road trip, charging to this level will take longer. So. I've got it set at 80%, but you can move this maximum charge point indicator all the way to 100% or down to 50%. And I've had people ask me, well, why on earth would you just would you charge to 80%? If you can charge to 100%, why don't you just charge to 100%? Well, lithium batteries really prefer staying within a window that's in the center of the battery. I would say the center 60% of the battery is where it really wants to live and so you want to stay for for normal daily use below 80 percent state of charge but above 20 percent state of charge uh, it's pretty complex as to why that is on a lithium battery uh, and I'm not an engineer so I, I may not be able to communicate that very well so I just want to give you the basics of this and by all means go ahead and internet search this to get some of the finer points because there's this goes my goodness a couple orders of magnitude deeper than I'm going to today um, but this will give you an idea of, of how to how to care for your battery just with these general principles so again stay below 20 below 80 percent state of charge as a maximum charge point but keep the battery above 20 percent state of charge now this isn't a hard fast rule uh, and I've had people say well it's stupid why say that the car is 310 miles of range if you can't use that you can use it uh, the the main issue is you don't want to use it every single day so uh, it for instance, if you were to charge to 100% every time and discharge to 0% every time you use the car, you could do that, but you will uh, your your overall longevity of your battery pack will be lessened, and it's lessened in a pretty drastic way. I know that I've had um, lithium polymer battery packs for my radio-controlled uh, devices, my uh, electric bikes as well, that I've done that to them charge to 100% and you almost never ch discharge to zero because the uh, the item starts to slow down and become less usable as you get below maybe 15% state of charge but I charge to 100% run it down till the voltage was low and then charge to 100% and I was getting three or four hundred charges out of it and then lo and behold I noticed that uh, I wasn't getting as much runtime out of that battery uh, it was shortened to 80 or 90 percent of its original um, its original capacity so then I noticed that if I stop charging at 85 percent or so on my RC vehicles I was instead of getting three or four hundred charges out of a pack very healthy before the battery uh, capacity began to degrade I was getting several thousand 
I mean, it was to the point where I'd get, I'd charge it three or 4,000 times, and um, I had a number of, of uh, RC vehicles, small drones and that, that my all of my kids and I would fly every day multiple times, and you know we're, we're getting two or three years out of a battery, and it's still working fine. Uh, and so I, I researched it and found that that was indeed true. What we were encountering was we were stopping charging it before it reached 100% and weren't discharging it all the way down. So it um, again, it differs for each chemistry, but you can look at it this way. You will get, if you if you use the 60% in the center of the battery pack for daily use, but again, keep it below 80%, but keep it above 20%, you'll go from a few hundred charges before you notice any noticeable degradation in the battery at all, up to many thousands uh, of recharge cycles. But again, you can fully charge it and fully discharge it hundreds of times before you really notice any degradation. So I don't want anyone to think, well, this is an expensive car and you, you're telling me you can't use the battery the way it was designed or it's going to wear out quickly. It's not really the case. It's just since it is an expensive battery and most people don't need 300 miles of range every single day, it's best to use the range that you need. And this is the main area where an electric vehicle differs from a gas vehicle. On a gas vehicle, you want to maintain a full tank just to keep moisture out of your tank, condensation from building up. It's best to keep the tank full. But with an EV, it's best to keep the charge below 80%. And actually, if you really research this fully, you'll find that if you want to store a lithium battery for any long duration of time, it's best to keep the, char the state of charge right near 50%. If you buy a new battery, uh, it is shipped typically at close to 50% state of charge, and that is for the health of the battery. So uh, I hope this is helpful to you guys. Again, it's not bad to charge the battery all the way up and discharge it down. It's not like you're ruining your car, but if you want to get the maximum longevity out of your pack, stay closest to the middle of the charge as possible, and you'll really stretch the life of that, that battery. So again, I hope that helps, and as I've been telling you guys, feel free to click the subscribe link below, uh, you know, give me a like if you like the videos, and give me suggestions. I'm more than happy to do the best I can to uh, give you guys the content that you're looking for. Anyway, have a great day. We'll see you again next time.